Father's love, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for February the 6th from our Daily Walk by F.B. Meyer. This one's entitled, The Christian Ideal. Verses for today are Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. That's Philippians 3, 13 and 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. An ideal is a mental conception of character after which we desire to shape our lives. It is the fresco which we paint on the walls of our soul and perpetually look at in our lonely hours. And since the heart is educated through the eye, we become more and more assimilated to that which we admire. Our ideal should be distinctly beyond us. We must be prepared to strain our muscles and task our strength, attempting something which those who know us best never thought us capable of achieving. Like St. Paul, we must count the ordinary ambitions of men as dung, must forget the things which are behind, and press forward to those before. We should choose, as an objective, some ideal which is manifestly, in our own judgment or that of others, within our scope. It is a mistake to set before our minds an ideal which is altogether out of harmony with the makeup of our nature. Therefore we should learn to say with the Apostle, I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Be sure that God created and redeemed you for a definite purpose. Discover that purpose and set yourself to make it good. Our ideal should give unity to life. Happy is the man who is able to prosecute his ideal through each hour of consciousness and who can say, This one thing I do. Such people are the irresistible ones, those who know one subject thoroughly or who bend all their energies into prosecution of one purpose, carry all before them. The quest for a holy character may be prosecuted always and everywhere. In every act and thought, we may become more like Christ. The Christ ideal is the highest ideal, that I may win Christ and be found in Him. But such an ideal will only be realized at the cost of self-denial. You must put aside your own righteousness to get His. You must be willing to count all things loss. You must ignore the imperious demands of passion. So shall you be prepared for the hour when even our vile body shall be transformed to the likeness of the glorious body of Christ. He is working on your side, in you, and for you. He will subdue all things to himself. Our prayer for today. Thou, O Christ, art all I want. May thy grace abound towards me, so that having all sufficiency in all things, I may abound unto every good work. Amen. I hope today's devotional strengthens you, blesses you. There's only the couple scriptures. I'll put them here. Get out your Bible. Read over them. Let the Spirit Write them in your heart. And if you need a Bible, email me. I'll be happy to send one to you. Don't forget to pray for the children, our fellow brothers and sisters around the world, and all those still lost in this darkness, so that they too can find a light. May our Father bless you. May He keep you. May His grace shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you next time.